Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I am here with Grayson and we are going to be combing her out. So I am doing little short sessions with her every day to get her used to the comb. Now she is not the best right now at doing this, but we are working on it and that is key, is so that she will be good. Now just like Stassi, I started with her right when I got her. So we are you know, in the process of getting her used to the comb because like Stassi, she is going to have a full coat with an undercoat and she's definitely going to need to be used to the comb because it's something that we are going to be doing every day with her, pretty much every day. So in order to get her used to it, what I have to do is this. So I have her here on my bed. Let's see if I can get her to where you're going to see this without the, the phone falling here. Okay, so I have her here on the bed, and what I'm gonna do is I have some kibble here so that she can have like a little bit of a treat because what I want her to do is be comfortable laying on her side. Now, what I do is I have the butter comb that I start out with, and she doesn't really have an undercoat right now, but she will have a very, very thick undercoat. So it is important for her to stay still, to not bite the comb, and to not bite me. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, let me move the camera a little bit so that you can see her. Okay, wait a minute. So the key here is to make it to where they think that this is a very good thing that is happening to them. So we want to be calm. We want to be calm. And start out slow. Okay, just a minute. She's a big girl, guys. Okay, shh. So the key is to get her used to being on her side, first of all, and also on her back. All right, so then we start with the comb. Good girl, what a good girl, good puppy. No, no, good puppy, good girl, good, good girl. Now you can use this technique for any breed of dog. Because the key is they want to be, you want them to be comfortable and used to being groomed. So what you do is you get them comfortable on their side and you start combing them. Talking sweetly. No. Good girl. No, ma'am. You see that kibble over there, don't you? You're going to get it in just a minute. You have to be good first. No, ma'am. I'm going to take this out of her sight. Good girl. I'm going to give her a piece. Good girl. You want a piece? Is she being a good girl? Yes, she's being a good girl. All right, so I'm going to start out with her face, getting her used to the comb being right by her eyes, on her head, on her muzzle. And it's a really good idea to start this out when they are puppies because there is no nodding, really. She's got this puppy coat, and so there's no nodding. There's no undercoat, and I really don't need to be doing this with her right now, but I'm doing it anyway to get her used to the comb. And you can see, now that I calmed her down a little bit, she's being extremely good. So we're gonna get down here by her bum, 
The key is you want to make sure this comb touches every part of her body. You want to do like we did the face. You definitely want to do the feet. I'm going to turn her over and do under her arms because that is going to be an area of concern. Just like Stasi and Harper, they do mat up underneath the arms. So you want to make sure you get them used to that comb being underneath their arms. Now, she is not even 10 weeks old, guys. She will be 10 weeks old tomorrow. No, ma'am. When she starts to wiggle, I just give her a, a correction, which I use, no, ma'am. <laughs> and then I calm her down, and then we start again. So it does take a little bit of a patience, a little bit of patience, but it's going to be worth it in the long run because she is a breed just like Stasi, where I'm hoping to keep her fairly long. And so she's gonna need to be used to being combed. So see, you wanna lift up that arm, you wanna get underneath, then you wanna get her on her back. Now, right before this, she was playing. So it's not like she's really tired, but if your puppy is giving you a problem, you can do it after they've had a, a nice play session so that they are nice and tired for you. You wanna get that belly. You wanna get down the legs. Oh, no ma'am, no ma'am. And then she needs to know that I'm in control here, that she is not going to get her way just because she wants to get up. <laughs> and she's gonna protest a little bit, but that is okay, that is okay. All right. Now this little area down here for her private gets a little wet from PP. So this little area has little knots so we need to make sure that she's used to feeling that. Uh, no, ma'am. All right, you want to turn on your other side? We're going to turn her around. I'm going to lay her on this side. Let's see. Come up some. That way we can see. No. No. Shh. No. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And we are going to comb out her on her side, this side. So she's doing quite well. We're still having potty accidents. In fact, I just cleaned up a puddle on my floor. I don't know when she did that, but it was my fault because I guess I didn't have both eyes on her. But for the majority of the time, she's doing very well potty training. But she's still a baby. Okay, we're going to get the back feet. No, ma'am. No. No. Calm down. No. Shh. Shh. Good girl. What a good puppy. You're letting me get your bottom really well. No, no, ma'am. She needs to learn that biting the comb and biting the comber is not acceptable. So you don't let them do that because they need to learn that you are in control here, not them. but in a gentle, loving way. No. But a good girl. No, ma'am. No. No, we're not done yet. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no. No, no. Get a treat. What a good girl. You get a treat. A 
because you've been such a good baby. You've been such a good baby. So that's it. I mean, it's just little short sessions. And I am going to release her. Good girl. We're done. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good baby. So keep it positive. Keep it fun. Let her know that she's a good girl for being good, for her grooming. And if you do this every day, no matter what breed you have, you will wind up with a puppy. Let's see. Let's turn this around. You will wind up with a puppy that is going to enjoy being groomed and enjoy being combed out because this is a very important part of having a dog is that they know that they have to get groomed, they have to sit still, and you start out when they're really, really young babies um, and they will get used to it. So as you can see, she's getting lots of loving and this is our special time together. As with all of my dogs, I make their grooming time my special time with them, just one-on-one -on -one so that they can get lots of lovings and a little bit each day goes a long way. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we will catch you on the next one. Say bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.